Andrew Ray. I'm an assistant professor in the aquaculture division at Kentucky State University. And I'm at the Kentucky State University high tunnel complex now. Uh, we've got four high tunnels here. They're about 100 feet long by about 35 feet wide. And a high tunnel is a very simple form of a greenhouse. Basically, steel hoops and plastic strewn over that and then we build in walls on either end of that and these are a very practical uh, approach for farmers to use to cover part of their field to grow crops in places like Kentucky this is especially important where we have a relatively short growing season for a lot of warm weather crops and uh, being in the aquaculture division at Kentucky State I uh, we are starting to build some fish tanks in these high tunnels as well and we're looking at the possibility of growing warm water fish in tanks for the same reason that a, a farmer might grow crops because the if you're talking about a fish like tilapia for instance which is a warm water species that really likes to be at about 80 degrees Fahrenheit or, or even a little bit more the growing season in Kentucky and similar places is very short and so what we hope to do here is add on several weeks to maybe even a month on the uh, front end of the season in the spring and then do the same thing on the uh, back end of the season into the fall months and so the approach that we're taking is uh, building these wooden frame tanks that you see here and so the reason we're building these tanks out of wood primarily is to reduce the cost over other building supplies. We could use something like fiberglass or uh, high-density polyethylene plastic tanks, um, but the cost to get a reasonable volume is quite a bit more than these. We're looking at a cost of somewhere right around $2,000 to completely build one of these tanks, and this holds a, almost 5,000 gallons of water. And so what we're doing is building a, a two by six frame uh, with two by six headers and footers. Uh, this is suspended on concrete blocks. And then we're lining that with plywood on the inside. And we're gonna support the tanks. There's gonna be a lot of pressure uh, on the tank uh, in an outward fashion. And so we're gonna come back with some hardware on these tanks, some eye bolts and uh, heavy duty washers to hold the eye bolts and we're going to put steel cable across the top and the bottom of the tanks and we're working on that now and we're going to fill in uh, fill in the bottom with a layer of sand and then we're going to put a rubber liner, a EPDM rubber liner which is the same material that car tires are made out of on the inside um, and that'll be our tank. That's what's going to hold water. The reason we're building uh, the tanks above ground like this, you, you could build this halfway submerged into the ground and give it a lot more structural support or even you could dig a hole in the ground and line that instead of building a tank above the ground like this. But the logic to building it above the ground like this is that the water body itself being in the tunnel is going to act as a somewhat of a heat sink for the high tunnel and so what we're doing is growing the fish uh, in about half of the high tunnel and the other half we're going to grow uh, row crops and so with about 20,000 gallons of water in each high tunnel that's uh, going to be relatively warm uh, this is going to deaden some of the fluctuations that you get uh, between day and night in the high tunnel itself. So it actually acts as a heat sink for the tunnel and we're going to be studying the thermodynamics of that in more detail during this study. Thank you. 
the reason we are painting the tank is for one to show school spirit but for another to uh, to actually protect the wood because this is actually untreated lumber and the reason for that is that this is a USDA organic certified high tunnel complex and so we're not allowed to use treated lumber in the uh, according to the USDA organic standards and so we're actually using untreated lumber and painting it and so it's a little bit time consuming um, and I, to mention this, uh, there are other approaches that you can take to building a fish tank in a high tunnel or in a similar situation, but uh, what we'd like to do here is, is describe a little bit about this particular application and some of the uh, strategies that we're using to achieve our particular objectives.